sorry. Sorry, but I had to end it. I was tweaking because what was that filter on my face? I figured out there was a filter on my face and um, I don't know how that got on there, but took that off. Um, Romeo, you're in my spot. Hello. Hi, Flying Bam. Hi, Annette. Um, Romeo's in my spot. Hello? Just because he looks cute, I'm not gonna move him. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> my computer with the camera thingy on it. Hello? Dude, my, f my, my English? I like can't English. I can't English. Hi Diego, hi beautiful, perfect, gorgeous human being that you are. Yes, he's gorgeous. <laughs> um. Okay, Romeo, actually you need to move. You can lay on top of me, you can lay ever, but I need to put my leg up and you're in the way. I do have a shirt on. Thanks, here. It is good, Nimra. Hi. Thank you, Star. Can you just lay with me and love me? Please? Please? Hello. Thank you. Um, this is my foot. Very fat, orange toes, purple toes. <laughs> um, yeah, my toes are like purple. I would show you, but like people are kind of weird. Yeah, it just feels like it's on fire. That's pretty much all I can say to describe it. My foot's on fire. Yeah, people are weird. Um, no, I haven't been taking my painkillers. I've just been... I've just been surviving... Um, and yeah, it takes six weeks to heal. My toes, my, my toes actually aren't really numb anymore. Not even my big toe. Now that I'm touching it, it was still a little bit numb this morning, but I feel like it's all kind of, I can have my feeling back in my big toe now and all my other toes, of course. I had surgery on my foot. I got a screw put in my foot. Uh, I don't think I have to do physical therapy. I could be mistaken. I just don't pay attention. It's not a 51 for me. Well, I bet you that her. Um, she's gatekeeping what happened. I'm not gatekeeping what happened. I explained it 10 million times that my bone came out of its, out of its socket. And I had surgery and they put it back in its socket and put a screw in my foot to keep it there. How did it come out? It just came out by itself, bro. Oh my god, I didn't do anything. Just, just happened to me. Um, I feel like I was just scared to be put to sleep, but I don't even remember it at all. Like. I can't even tell you what happened. <laughs> Thanks, sir. No, Emmy, I, 
I agree. There's so many. It's not even like going to sleep and not waking up, but it's like, well, like that, and it's like going to sleep and like something going wrong to like, I would just be scared. Like, obviously, I wouldn't even know what was happening, but like for my parents, like to like be like, I don't know, to have to like hear that like I got Russian. Rushed into the surgery, or like I was I had to go obviously for something else. Like that's scary. Thanks, you. <laughs> oh my god, it stopped. Oh god. Um, if I wake up mid surgery and I'll feel everything. No, but once I met the anesthesiologist, I was like, okay, this is gonna be fine, dude. Literally, I'm telling you, I did not remember a thing. I remember moving from the gurney to the bed, like, because obviously I was still awake. They just helped me, and he, I knew he was putting something into my IV, the anesthesiologist, which obviously, like, helped knock me out. But I can't tell, I don't remember if I was dreaming or not, but they put, like, something on my face. I could be totally mistaken, but they're like, take deeper breaths, and I listened. But I don't know if I was dreaming, bro. Like, I don't know if that actually happened, or I'm just making that up. But literally, basically, all I know that I remember is moving over to the gurney, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. I don't even remember anything else after that. But if I'm right, they made me breathe in. Um, they put, like, the oxygen mask or whatever. It made me breathe in and out, if I'm not mistaken. And that's all I remember. And then I remember waking up and being like, I need some water. <laughs> like, give me some water. And the nurse was like, I can only give you an ice cube because we don't want you throwing up. And that triggered me. Thanks, 909. That was triggering. Yes, one ice cube. One ice cube after they stuck a tube down my throat for me to breathe during surgery. And I hadn't drinking or eaten anything in 28 hours. And they wanted, all they wanted to give me was an ice cube. To melt on my tongue. I was triggered. I was so upset. I was like, no, I'm not going to throw up. Like, I need water now. You just had a tube down my throat. And I want water. The last time I went to a carnival or carnival like fair was like in August. Hi Roxy. We want to see the purple clothes. Guys, I can't show you guys. People are gonna be weird. I can't even get up. I'm so fat. <laughs> Happy birthday, Charlotte. Beautiful woman. My recovery is six weeks. I take care of myself. No. My boyfriend was here the first two days after surgery and he took care of me. And then my parents would, like, fill up my water bottle and take care of me, and, like, bring me anything I needed as well. And then everyone went back to work, went on with their day. And now I take care of I just do whatever. I mean, I'm fine. It's just kind of annoying on the crutches because, like, I'd be, like, walking from, like, the kitchen to, like, here. And then I'm like, oh, my God. I forgot my water bottle, or oh my god, I need to fill up my water bottle, so let me go back and bring it back. Like, my pits hurt. Girl, I use crutches on the daily because I sprained my ankle every month. Oh. You need some milk.
this is my first time ever being injured or having to wear or having crutches or anything of that sort and yeah first time and I got a screw in my foot what can I say what's up Henry what's up Henry, just so you know, I went live on the 12th. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Lucia. Lucia, how was your day? What did you do? You've got the wrong vibe. What did I do? I'm gonna have the wrong vibe. If I don't, if I'm not English? Oh, she got her bag up. You got the wrong vibe. Then why are you here? Go on someone else's vibe that you love their vibe. Hi, Alyssa. My day was amazing. No. Guys, I went to go get my shots. Tell me why I couldn't get them. I went to Rite Aid because they do vaccines there. And they're like, oh, your insurance is going through. And I was like, weird, because I got a vaccine at Walgreens or CVS like a week ago. and Had no problem. I was like, maybe I'll just make an appointment there instead. So I made one at Walgreens and had to go like an hour later. After, listen, at Rite Aid, I was waiting for like an hour. And they're like, sorry, we're just trying to get your insurance to go through and I was like okay well I gotta go which I didn't but I was like I've been waiting here for an hour like I'm not waiting anymore the vaccine is supposed to take like five minutes anyway so I made an appointment at Walgreens and I was like I'll just get to go through there no apparently insurance doesn't cover those type of vaccines for kids my age which is weird because they require it for the nursing program and she was like out of pocket it's 400 and something dollars I was like Oh, I'll get back to you on that. Took my insurance card and was like... No, I was not like that. It was like my crutches, like, hitting the ground instead. Yes, $400 is insane. Insane! For three shots. For three shots... Four hundred and something dollars. I was like, bro, like what? Thanks, Danny. I don't poop money. I got Christmas gifts to pay for, but I need everything submitted to the nursing program by like December 15th. So I might have to just drop a bag on some vaccines like. $400 for hepatitis B for varicella and mumps. Like, who's going to tell them I don't have a job? So rude. It was actually insane. Actually insane. Your wolf pay is nuts. But also kind of true. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Thank you, Danny. Hi, Ava. New life goal. You're right. I got cold. Oh, 
one second. I can't see the comments. Thank you, whoever said that. I can't see. What did I eat today? Um, at least I give you something for the pain. Yeah, the stuff that they gave me for the pain, though, did not work. Tylenol worked better. And they gave me hardcore drugs. Um, and they did not work. So I took, thank you, 909. I took, I think they gave me 28 of, like, the hard drugs. And I took three of them. And every single time, they didn't work for me. And then, so I was just feeling the pain, like, dealing with the pain. <laughs> Thanks, Achia. And then Tylenol, I took Tylenol once, 600 milligrams, and now ever since I haven't taken it anymore. Um, it's painful, but like my foot's on fire right now, feels like it's gonna explode. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, it feels like it's gonna explode, but not to where I'm gonna take more. I'm just gonna leave it and deal with it. <laughs> I do know Billy. I know of Billy Eilish. I don't know her personally. If that's me, me. Is your injection okay? What injection? Thank you, Bianca. Thank you, Henry. Hi, Henry. Seven a.m. It is ten o four for me. I miss Kayla. What do you mean, what's wrong? Thank you, Danny. <sighs> yeah, $400 for some vaccines is nuts. Um, and I called other places to see if they do them for free there and they're like no so I don't know I'll probably just have to end up paying it thank you Ali it was like 480 hey thank you Woo. oh he sent them all thank you I'm gonna put on a sweater, guys. I'm kind of cold. The goat. Oil up, man. Fuck off. Your wallpaper is I'm saying that. Was that a hop? I did hop. That's rude of me to say that. Thank you, Henry. My shoulder's cold. I'm just kidding. It's so stupid. <laughs> Romeo, you're on my blanket. So, Lucia the hop. Did she not see the hop? Why do I look like that? I look like an egg. Um, show me, show. Dude, the hop was literally me just hopping around my room trying to get ready earlier. 
I can't raise one eyebrow. Like, how do you even do that? Botox? What do you mean, Botox? I put Botox on this side so it doesn't move. Look at those wrinkles on my head. You know the lines? I have them. I use the telescopic L'Oreal mascara, but my eyelashes are shorter right now because I picked them up. Thanks, Julian. Wisdom lines. I have to like. What's a question you hate being asked? If I'm sick, that's a given. Or where's your sister? Like which one? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, add up all the money you've ever paid on mascara to be long. Mm, probably gone through like 20 tubes in my life so 13 times 20 you do the math because I can't <laughs> 200 something that's not terrible Two sixty. Oh, it could be worse. Do you do any contour on your nose? I do have highlighter on my nose right now. Well, maybe not anymore. <laughs> It is ten ten. Uh the Coachella lineup, personally, I thought it could have been better. Like why is Yo Gabba Gabba on there? I personally would have liked a lot of different people. I think it's a uh, pretty trash. I like some of the people on there, but like very minimal, like very minimal. I'm surprised Sabrina Carpenter wasn't on there. Thanks, nine oh nine. No, literally, why is it no on there? I was surprised Sabrina Carpenter was on there. Like Billy, Lady Gaga in 2024 is crazy work. I was even surprised Post Malone was on there. Not that he's bad or anything, but it's just like, it's not like he's at his prime right now. And like Olivia Rodrigo has never performed there, which I think is surprising. Thanks, Kibidi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Alexa. 
No, yo Gabba Gabba gonna go nuts. Hi, Annabelle. Dogs, for sure. That's a crazy name. You don't know what Yo Gabba Gabba is? You even ever watched that show? Bro. Let me enlighten you. Let me enlighten you. Don't tell me this isn't gonna... This isn't gonna go nuts. At Coachella. Don't say you won't be in the crowd for this. in the colleges. Tell me you're not gonna be in that crowd. Like you're telling me you don't remember the Okay. Let's not talk about how many million Okay, what? You don't remember these people? Don't even play. I'm gonna get off in like five minutes because I got things to do actually. A little bit of homework. Backyard against Ins Matter. I don't know why that's even on there. That's like what even. Um, my foot is burning on fire right now. That's what it feels like. It's in pain, but it's manageable. It's just there. <sighs> no, I'll bless this one, no. Ice. Wait, what? Thanks, RT. Yeah, my foot was broken. homework a thing bro like you already kept me in class long enough not that I'm in class right now but I'm just saying <laughs> like lectures yeah well, she does not speak every language chill yeah I don't even I can like barely speak English bro Thanks, Lucia. Thank you. For that. God damn. Lucia and yoga nuts. Oh, you read my mind. <laughs> yeah. It really doesn't need to be a thing. Oh, something in the gallery? Dude, isn't the gallery like so hard this time? Yeah, we're never winning this gallery. 
Usually me and I did the Lion and the TikTok universe and Leon the Kid and Interstellar and Party on and on and Flying Jets and work hard, play hard, and win. That never gonna happen. <laughs> That's why I picked an easy one. Yeah, we never fill in this one. This one be this one being refreshed. Let me cook. Let me see you cook. <laughs> now the TikTok universe that the one time he sent was actually insane and I'll never forget it here. I'll never forget it. He is a legend. Yeah, I want to get off so soon. Stop what? <laughs> it is 1018 for me. How much is the universe? God, I can't even tell you. Don't even want to know. I don't want to know, but it's expensive. Dude, the live action of How to Train Your D Dragon. Uh, Toothless looks so cute. He so cute still. I thought they were going to make him ugly. He's not ugly. He's still cute. I'm excited for the new Moana too. I'm literally going to go in theaters and watch it. I'm not playing. I need to see it. I don't get to watch Wicked in theaters, but I'll watch it, like, on streaming device or something. But Moana. My family lives off of Moana just because literally Maya was obsessed with it, Cash was obsessed with it. And so we watched that movie at least 300 times. What are you doing tomorrow, Unc? Nala. No. Oh, wait. I think I'm going to go get my hair trimmed in the morning. Trimmed. Like a little tiny trim. I just lost a hair. Gosh, I only have two strands left. Just a little trim so that it, it can grow healthy. Like a tiny little trip, I'm not letting her cut off a lot. Dude, my hair is so thin, it's not even a joke. Like, this is all the hair I have. Oh, wait, get this. It's deaf grown, but it hasn't gone thicker. Like, now it's just a lot of thin hair. Like, if I did a little... I'm not even going to do that. That's embarrassing. Just imagine if I put this in a braid. Okay, obviously, there's still, like, a little bit missing, but... Like, imagine if I had this in a braid. You're lying. You're lying! It's literally like if someone did a little braid with this, basically. Alright guys, I'm going to get off because I have some homework to do.
when are you seeing your boyfriend? Um, I don't know if I'll see him before he leaves because he's going on a trip with his family. Oh, my computer just died. Um, so I might not be able to see him for like two weeks if he, if he, if he, uh, two more weeks if he doesn't see me before he leaves. So, um, yeah. Thanks, you Alright, guys, I am going to go. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, thank you, Henry. Oh, he didn't want to let you away. He said, I'm going to snipe. Huh? Wait, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay, I'm confused. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Henry. Thank you. Here.